You guys would not believe what I did today. I did exercise. It's currently 10 p.m. I was just in the car for three hours. That was not the exercise. That was the driving, Ashley. We drove all the way to the beach because I decided, oh, we're at the beach. Let's go to the beach. I did a tick tick for the haters. And I'm starving, Ashley. So the Indian restaurant just closed, but we picked it up on the way. It's still really hot. This costed me $166. I have lots of rices. And let me just tell you, at the beach, shout out to all my fans. People, I, I was bombarded. Click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. And there's people that came up to me literally that they don't know me. They're like, that shirt is amazing. I mean, I ain't, listen, we're in Florida and people are very overweight here. Just saying, just saying, and I'm not shaming. I'm also a little, a little fluffy. It's mostly water weight, as you know. But people were very impressed by my shirt. They're like, oh my gosh, where'd you go? I need to have that shirt. Hello. Where do I get the shirt? So you can buy this on my website. Go, well, it'll be linked in the description box. You can go to nickacadoavocado.com. You can go to um, itsjustwaterweight.com. You go to uh, lots of places if you also identify as skinny. So, so we have curries. This was 177. Um, curries. We got two butter chickens. We got a chicken, 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 chicken butter. Oh, that's the paneer. Ooh, I'm so excited, Ashley. Oh my God. <gasps> butter chicken, butter chicken. Um, I didn't get a korma this time, but I decided to get something I've never had before. Oh, the lid almost flew off, girl. This is the palak paneer with cheese. Ah, cheapers, creepers. And we also have <gasps> Honestly, this all look like pumpkin pie soup. Ooh, girl. What's in here? Oh my gosh, it looks like a bird just went burp. That's what we think about you and your India food. So this is some naan bread. That was nice of him. Okay, so unfortunately, I wanted just the naan. I mean, I do like rice, but I don't need that much rice. Like what? So all of these, I got six curries. Well, I also got six white rices. Excuse me, Ashley. Okay, so we have six curries down over here, and we have six rices. Here we go. I'm like, how am I gonna eat all this? Excuse me. One, two, three, four. That smash on the bottom, bottom smash. Five, six. Six big rices. I don't know what to do with them. We're gonna throw them up to charity. To charity. Yes. Now what I did have to order on the side, which costed $44 separately, was their non bread. You're like $44 for bread? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I can go to Walmart and get a loaf of bread for a dollar. Oh, it's really hot. So apparently it's a variety pack. So I got one. It's very heavy. Ooh. This stuff is hot and steamy. Thank you. Two. Three. This is a lot of naan bread. Okay. Variety pack. We have garlic naan, cheesy naan, butter naan. And he said there's like one or two others, but we'll have to find out. That's actually a lot. And um, he gave me a dessert because this was $166. Um, apparently, if you order over the phone, you get 10% discount. I'm like, you should have just applied it. He told me after he gave me the food. And he gave me this little thing, this paper that says, if you call, well, I live too far away from here anyway. Ooh, this looks, I don't know what this is. It's, it's uh, two balls with some soup. And this here is something, 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 something. So we got some Indian desserts. Now you guys know I try to look out for my diabetes by not having sugar. That's why we eat more wholesome, healthy, but did you know this stuff causes diabetes for some people? Not all people, but for some people because it's pure fat and oils and cheeses. 
but I identify as Jay's, so it's okay. <clears throat> All right, everyone, I'm gonna have to set this up and make it pretty. We're doing Indian again. I know we did Indian like a month ago. It got basically 200,000 views. I'm like, that's actually a decent amount of people, especially for only being up for a month. So I'm like, I'm doing it again, okay. I love Indian food. So, um, let's just begin. I'm gonna, um, I might change my shirt, I'm not sure. I'm gonna get this set up. I have my glass risers here. These are always linked in the description box. Okay, I'm an Amazon affiliate, you know. <clears throat> people wanna ask, well people wanna do mukbangs. Well this is how I do it, it's very cheap. You get a little riser, you get a little, a little use tray, you know. <clears throat> All right people, I will be right back. One, two, three. India, here we come. Bam! Oh, jeepers creepers. This is gonna go straight to my double chin, everybody. So we have some butter chicken over here. Ouch! Jeepers creepers. Ooh. <gasps> butter chicken for the peasants, eh, for the kings, okay. Butter chicken, and where's the other butter chicken? It's called BBC. Here we go. I love the BBC. I live for the BBC. The BBC is what makes life great. Oh, it's your fault. I made it spill. That's chicken tikka masala. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Dress to impress. Okay, please don't fall. We have things to do. Thank you. And we have the, um, what's this one? This is the new one I've never had. Masala something something. This is the new one. Okay, everybody. I know it looks like baby food because it kind of is in a way. And this one here is Pollock. Cheapers, where's my, where's my cheat sheet? Okay, butter chicken, butter chicken, tikka masala, and then we have um, tikka paneer, tikka masala, okay. And then that one was the new one, which is called um, matar paneer. And this one's the paneer uh, palak. So um, these are the two I'm really looking forward to. This is brand new, it's called matar paneer, and this one is called paneer tikka masala. Because last time I had Indian food for you guys, my paneer tikka masala was so spicy, I couldn't even enjoy it. It was too spicy, everybody. It was too spicy. So I got everything mild and extra creamy and cheesy and oily and yummy. Oh my gosh. And then we have the palak, but is this enough food? Ah, palak paneer. I know it kind of it looks... A little interesting. Where's the cheese? I ordered cheese cubes. Where are they? Fried cheese. We have my naan, my naan, my naan. My naan. My naan be gone. Excuse me, where's the cheese? Great, I'm gonna starve. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Ooh. Okay, all the heat is rising. It's like in the air, like all the aromas. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, girl, this looks amazing. All right, I'm gonna, um, should I wear red for this video? Let's do red, because last time I wore a black shirt, that was a little professional. This is a little more just kind of like, like this is just non-professional. I'll be right back, goodbye. I'm gonna like straighten this up a little bit. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna go get some cheese sauces. We'll put them in here. Goodbye, peasants. I'm a page. This smells incredible. If you've never had Indian food before, you need it. Well, first, you have to save your money, okay? Save your pennies, peasants, because this is gonna cost a pretty one. We have tikka masala chicken. Chicken tikka masala. We have palak masala. Palak paneer masala. No, excuse me, paneer masala, excuse me. We have this brand new thing called the Three Musketeers. Oh, hi. You got the water. It's not Three Musketeers, it's called Matter Platter Paneer. There's more non bread in here. There's more non bread? Ooh, I have so much non bread. Should it have been $44? I don't know. I'm gonna have to roll you out of bed. <gasps> this is garlic. 
Ooh, honey. Okay, so this video is gonna be very interesting, very messy, I'm sure of it. It's gonna be like out of this world crazy. <clears throat> you need anything else? I think I'm good. Go take all your rice. Did you take your rice? Where's your rice? Take your rice. Of course. Where is it? In the kitchen. Did you take it? Okay. Yes. I'm so excited. Let's just start. First, we're gonna start with some rice. Speaking of rice, let's just, here we go. Baby rice, okay. Mm. Mm. When you're hungry, oily white rice is great. I like it more than sticky rice. You know, the Asians, the stickiness, I can't. Oh. Cheers. <gasps> Don't spill. Don't spill peasants. So I took off my identify a skinny t-shirt because I want to protect it, okay? It's expensive, high quality. But this is just from Walmart. Now I'm actually protecting the Walmart one because girl, I still have to wear it for tomorrow. <clears throat> okay. Now the last time I did Indian food, everybody, Y'all got a little upset with me. You're like, Nick, this is too messy. That's not how I'm supposed to do it. You're too messy. You are disgusting. So I said, okay, today I'll be more mannerous. Let's begin. This is some garlic naan. So naan is just bread, in case you haven't realized yet. And what you do is you dip it into the different sauces. This one here is chicken tikka masala on some garlic naan bread. Click the link below to follow my Patreon. You'll get exclusive weekly videos about my life, plus tons of mukbangs not allowed on YouTube. Link below. Oh. Ashley, excuse me. I want to try all the breads. We have some cheese loaded bread. Where's the cheese bread? This is the cheese bread. You can see it's very heavy. <gasps> That's cheese! I love cheese. Da -dun. I love cheese. Da -dun. I love cheese. Da -dun. Yes, I do. I do. I love cheese. Da -dun. I love cheese. Da -dun. <laughs> this non tastes better than the garlic. The garlic one's a little too stiff. This is like floppy and doughy, and it's still hot. <sighs> That's the paneer masala, monsieur. The three musketeers. Excuse me. Excuse me, peasants. I'm so sorry. I know I said I would be careful. Ooh. Don't worry, the thumbnail will be polite. Y'all here for politeness. Now, I'm actually gonna wipe everything because when I watch my videos back, I get very triggered. I'm like, Nick, wipe your mouth. It's all over your mouth. And I can't hear myself when I scream at the TV. <clears throat> do you guys watch me on the TV? Some of you do. I met somebody kind of recently in my life that told me, oh, I always watch you on TV. That's I watch all my YouTube on TV. And then we were talking more about YouTube and I said something about the comments. They said, what comments? I said, the comments under my videos. They go, there's comments under the... I said, you don't know that there's comments under the videos? They're like, no. I'm like, oh, it's a whole nother world. Because there's so many people that just watch YouTube to watch it, but there's some people that watch YouTube to like gossip and snicker and make fun of you and talk crap. So my comment section has a lot of people who are just like, Nick's looking extra fat today. 
I'll, uh, you know what? I don't care, Ashley. This is so good. Okay, now we're gonna try this brand new one, the Matir. Matir. Oh, okay. Now let me make sure I'm saying it correctly. Where's this? It went down there. And I think it's called the Matir. I want this to be incredible. Thank you. Mmm. Mmm. So much butter. And there's clumps of chicken too. You can kind of grab it and clump it. Ooh. So much butter. This is a buttery AF. Mmm. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Oh my God. Mm. Oh. Oh, there's pee, ew. Vegetables, see, I don't even taste it. Look at this. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> Butter chicken time. <clears throat> I have so much non bread. Get this rice out of here. Goodbye, Ashley. <clears throat> we want the non bread. I want more cheese. Cheese infused. Here we go. Cheese stuffed, cheese infused. We're going to go for this. I know my mouth is a mess. Let me do one more bite and then I'll wipe it. This is the butter chicken. Butter chicken, butter chicken. Get a clump of chicken. Ooh, kind of burns my fingers. How do people eat this? Like, I mean, I've had to spend 20 minutes setting this up. <laughs> oh. I'm so good. <sighs> it's so good. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Or what would they say in India? <clears throat> Namaste. Oh, that's yoga. Wait a minute. What would they say? Well, excuse me. India has lots of different... Uh, Practices. Some people do Hindu, some people do. Oh gosh, it's all over. <clears throat> Lots of things going on over there. Oh, brace. Oh, brace. Oh, brace. 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 Uh, ooh, wrong end. Ooh, girl. Okay. <clears throat> See, the digestive tract has both ends. See, this is already ruined. <clears throat> I'm trying to look presentable for you people. Because last time it was so messy, everyone got very upset with me. And I don't want anyone to be upset. I want everyone to love me. Okay? Okay, there we go. Is that good? Ugh. We'll get a new fresh one. We have lots to go around. You guys were only halfway through tasting everything. Okay, something, there was something very exciting about um, <clears throat> this one, the musketeer paneer. Oop. Okay, this one I know, this is called Pollock paneer. This is clumps of cheese. Clumps of cheese inside of like a creamy spinach and a uh, bean curry. That looked amazing, I know. You don't even have to tell me. Oh, my heart's pinching. Why, I'm only having cheese. There's spinach in here, see? <gasps> my body doesn't like vegetables. The body can't handle too much fat. Okay, we'll be careful with this one. This is a lot of vegetable. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. And this is a butter chicken as well, isn't it, Ashley? It is. Oh my goodness. Mm. This is so good. Very, very, oh, my heart's pinching, why? Ooh. Orlin, are you up? Oh no, what's happening? Ooh. Mm. One of these days, this YouTube video is gonna be the last one. <laughs> The neighbors upstairs are being a little extra loud today. I don't know if you can hear them. <clears throat> That's okay. They can hear me too! They can hear. I hear like muffles. <sighs> Ouch! <clears throat> Orlin? What? I need an, uh... You to come here and turn off the camera so I can tell you something. Right Do you need insulin? Turn off the camera. What front are you doing? Turn off the camera. Oh, we need to get the aspirin. Yeah, it's pinching really bad. Oh, oh. Sure. Where do you know you have problems? What is this? The clot that broke the camel's back? I'm I... Ah! Oh, my head hurts too. And now you got a migraine too? Ooh, no. What's in here? It's the veg orlet. I said I this has peas. Is the it spinach. Peas no, it's isolic acid. This is something called anti -nu let me give you all some. Uh, um, in, uh, there are no vegans watching this. Instruction. Actually, no. They're probably secretly watching. They're so hungry. Shh. Let me teach. I know more about nutrition than you would think. Uh, you only get the weight gain. Ow! Oh my God, Orlin! I don't know. I already gave you the pill. What else do you Shh, need? Shh! Don't say that. Okay. Let me let me be calm. I went to the beach today and I did too much exercise and I moved some clots around. I think, but also, spinach is blood clotting, isn't it? Because it has anti-nutrients and it has acetic acid and all these phytochemicals that are not good for you. Same with peas. <sighs> oh, I was really looking forward to eating this. I mean, I am, but oh, that's so scary. Oh my god. Orlin? What? I really need to get, to get in here. Click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. You guys. <clears throat> This has already happened on camera before too. Like this is like the universe telling me. Stop filming. Shh, I'm talking. This is the universe telling me. To stop. Not to eat vegetables. It has to be. Or like I eat meat and cheese all the time. No, it is the rice. Come on. Stop filming. Ouch. Come on. Stop. Ah, or like <laughs> stop. stop doing these videos. Stop. You're literally stop. stop. You're literally gonna die. You're gonna pass away. Stop! Stop eating this! This is garbage! This is India! This is gonna give you the- you already have the beat. This is gonna give you a heart attack! You're gonna get attacked by the Indians. No, I'm telling you that this You're is not healthy for you. He has too much dairy. Oh, this no. has a lot of dairy. You Ouch. can eat this. I can eat what I want. Is this Clearly a not! You're literally- you're telling me you're having pinching? I have to give you a pill? Like, what do you want? Shh, no. I'm not putting that on you. Edit that part out. You didn't give me anything. Or that obviously something happened, but you don't have to tell them everything about our lives. Don't tell them that part. Let me see this. It says you can 
redo in another two hours. So, Nick, edit that part out. So you're just gonna keep eating? Hi, everyone. You're gonna keep doing the things that are making you sick? You guys, we just had to take a little break. I'm not gonna watch I'm start, this. Wait, no, I'm not gonna watch this. You need to stay here for at least- Why do I need to be here? Because if that, Nick, edit this part out. If the pills don't work, I need, I need, don't roll your eyes. Can I just leave? I don't wanna watch this. Fine, so if something happens to me and you're not in the room, guess, well, it'll you be on your conscience. It'll you be on your care. conscience. You don't care because you don't stop. I'm hungry. I have to eat to survive. Eat the rice. Well, then that's not gonna, you need protein. I'm gonna stay away from this one because it had peas. And I don't want peas. They're hopeless. There's no hope. I'm trying to do something. It's better than nothing. You're gonna get. You're gonna be six feet under if you keep doing More than this. Please, it's a video. It's one meal. I'm gonna be doing a funeral vlog. <sighs> well, you know what? If you leave the room and something happens right here to watch me, you might have to do a funeral vlog. You know, no one's gonna cry for you. This is getting morbid. No Nick, one's ever take loved this you. part out. No one's ever loved you. Or then stop. Because you refuse to take care of yourself. Is this not healthy? Uh, hey Siri, is Indian food healthy? Give no. me my phone. Give me my phone. Hey Siri, is Indian food healthy? Okay, I found this on the web for is Indian food healthy. Hey, hey Siri, is chicken healthy for you? Okay, I found this on the web for is chicken healthy. She won't tell me, so I'm gonna read it. One of the most popular types of meat is chicken. It's widely available and easy to prepare and access. This article focuses on the nutrition. It has zinc, thymine, and potato. Hey, Nick, when you're editing this, just take this part out. God. God, rice everywhere. Don't. my life it's like I I feel like I'm messing with fire like you know, like I don't know if, who knows if karma is real that's just a Hindu thing that's not that's not how I, I never was raised to believe in karma it, it's become popular in the media and whatever everyone says oh the karma it's like oh we believe well half y'all have other you half y'all are Jewish and Christian and what there's no karma in your religion, so you just pick it and choose it. <clears throat> anyway, I just feel like I might put this on Patreon. Hey, patrons, you guys, something fucked up just happened in the middle of the video. This happened the last time I exercised. I have this theory, right? So I bought a treadmill like two years ago. Fuck. I'm definitely putting this on Patreon. Hey, you guys, let me tell you what really happened. So I had this really bad heart. It was like pinch, 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 and like. I could, be, I could even get oxygen in. And so I bought this treadmill like two years ago. And I was like, oh, we're gonna walk and do buck bunks. What did I tell you? What did I tell you years ago? What did I tell you? That there's something called controlled chaos. That when you're really overweight, you're better off not moving and trying to lose weight by addressing your diet than you are by moving while eating junk because you're gonna be pumping clots through your system. <clears throat> and so what happened was I, I would go on the treadmill this was years ago when I just hit like 250, which again was really bad for me. I was 150 when I started, remember? Now we're 350, jeepers. Um, 375, actually. Anyway, so I'm like, I bought this treadmill because I was starting to get like problems, right? I'm like, let me walk after mukbangs before and after, take control of my health. No, it made it worse. I, every time I went on the treadmill, I would get heart pinches, heart pinches, heart pinches. And I looked it up, and apparently it's a thing. And so then I went to the doctor. Remember when I went to Malaysia two years ago? And I literally brought this up to them because back then I didn't have health insurance. I have health insurance now. but And they said, you are better off losing weight and taking care of your child by your diet because 90, 99% of your, 90 of your weight is your diet, not movement. Movement helps, but you can't outrun an, an, a bad diet. I feel like I'm preaching the same thing I've already known, <clears throat> but today I went all the way to the beach 
I, I mean, it's like 10, 13, 11 o'clock at night. I've been gone all day, three hours in the car. And then I was running around doing these TikToks and doing all this stuff on the beach and trying to make it funny, but I'm not used to this exercise. That was my treadmill. Even though it was out in nature, it was my treadmill for the day. And I'm feeling what I used to feel. That's this, ah, makes so much sense. Why every time I go to Vegas, it's hard for me. Makes so much fucking sense. Because I can't physically do stuff because my blood's so fatty and clogged. It's like a ticking time bomb. You like you really feel like you really want to run and dance for TikTok to make I don't know two dollars because TikTok doesn't pay very well. My last TikTok got like five hundred thousand views. I made like a dollar ninety seven cents. I'm like, how do people? Whatever. <clears throat> I don't know if I don't have the right monetization or what, but I could have fucking died. So, fuck, fuck, fuck. All right, patrons. Um, I just want to show you like what was really happening because I don't. I'm gonna have to edit some of this out because um, this was definitely, definitely surprising. And it makes sense. It's like why you know I eat shit all the time. I eat so much. I usually don't feel anything, but the moment I do lots of exercise that day, I'm pump, I'm loosening things up, moving things around, then this happens. And it happened all the time two years ago, which is like why I quit the treadmill. All right, let's start again. <clears throat> Nick, no more cursing. Back to YouTube. got done going to the bathroom and um let's just keep eating sorry i know it doesn't look like i left but i'm here okay peasants on my page let's get some chewy non bread there oh <gasps> do you see this cheese pop out girl Ooh. all right let's go for some buttered chicken i love cheese the boom I love cheese, the boom. I love cheese, the boom. Yes, I do, I do. I love cheese, the boom. Mm -hmm. This is the I hear the neighbors upstairs, they're really being annoying. Ah! This is butter chicken, and it's the same one as this one. Mm-mm-mm. They're having like a party, and I'm about to call, I'm about to call Corbett. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Yeah, feeling better? I might not put that part on YouTube. Or not, they know the reality of what's going on with your health. No. Yeah. I <clears throat> do, but this is fast acting. This food is fast acting. This is healthy, or this is India. Look up the rates of diabetes there. Race. Race. Gosh. I love that you checked on me though. Well, you don't fit on a gurney anymore. <laughs> oh. I actually wasn't true. You guys, I'm so loose back there. You think I'd be fisted all the time. No. God just made it extra loosey. <clears throat> I really don't know. <sighs> okay, let's go back to this. 
<clears throat> we're gonna go to this one, the tikka masala, uh, excuse me, the masala, paneer masala. I forget what paneer means, but. <clears throat> it's tomato -y. Where's this, the tikka masala? Mm. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. <clears throat> oh man. Oh man. Oh, man. Okay, now we're gonna go, thoughts and prayers. I have to go for it again, okay? It was so good. I'll try not to get any peas. I'll just get the, the creamy butter and sauce. Oh. <sighs> That's so good. That's so good. How do people not like Indian? I, I just have to wonder, you know? Mm. It's all about that flavor. Palak paneer, and then this is strip spinach, so I'll be careful. Know what it is? Vitamin K2. It, it's a um, blood clotter. Oh my gosh, so good. Oh my god. Oh! <clears throat> wow. That is so good, man. Mmm. Next. There should be a cheese one down here. I keep going for the cheese one. Sorry, everybody. I just love cheese. I love cheese. <clears throat> da -dun. I think my favorite this evening might be the butter chicken. Actually. I'm in heaven. Oh, that's not funny. Not yet. <clears throat> if I go there, I'm gonna haunt all you peasants. Just wait. <clears throat> Just what? It's gonna be like <clears throat> three in the morning, 3.03 a.m. And all of a sudden you'll open your eyes. It'll be dark in your bedroom and you'll hear And that will be me <clears throat> haunting you forever and ever. And you'll hear, you'll, you'll be like be in the bathroom and like, you know, reading the newspaper while you go number two and you're here. I identify as skinny. And you'll be like, rest in peace, Nikocado. I know you're watching over me. But, uh, hmm. Yes. Yes. Get some cheese. Mm -hmm. That's straight up butter and cheese with spinach. Look how many pieces they give you too. It's like. Mm. 
This is not okay. And I ordered sides of fried cheese. You know, I didn't even get it. <clears throat> oh my gosh, you guys. I'm feeling very, like, interesting right now. <sighs> I feel like I should cool it for a little bit. It's my own fault for exercising too much. And I know some people are gonna like make fun of me and be like, you don't even know what you're talking about. You're trying to be a troll or dramatic. It's a thing. That's why I've always been against it. I think Jillian Michaels is really smart. I've heard her talk about diets, <clears throat> polyphenols, um, the rate of absorption, cofactors, you know, bioavailability in foods. She actually knows herself, because you guys know I majored in nutrition. Whether you believe it or not, I know what I'm doing. I know how to eat off camera, <clears throat> at least I think I do. But uh, she actually knows her stuff. I think she's pretty smart. She kind of reminds me of a JJ Virgin. You ever hear her? I See, I'm in the diet world, I know. But uh, I didn't like that she would do the biggest loser thing and take these 500 pound heifers and make them run, like which you could risk effing up your joints so badly. You could tear cartilage. 600 pound heifers should just swap out their diet. They should not, I don't know why, I know the producers told her to do it, but like making them do all these, it's it's such high risk and it's proven. Don't, see, if you don't believe me, that's fine. No one believes me anyway. But look it up. People who are massively overweight have more risk exercising than not at times. They're better off changing their diet to lose the weight from diet until they reach a certain point where their body, their skeletal muscles, their skeleton can support their heavy bodies running around doing push-ups and jumping jacks and treadmills. Okay? You know, someone this size, my size, it's my fault. You know, I was jumping around at the beach. I was, you know, we, we haven't gone on a little trip for many, 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 many months. <clears throat> I set my alarm for 6 a.m., there was like no traffic getting there. It was nice. The weather was good. It rained a little bit, but it went away pretty quickly. It was a nice trip. And I was like excited to be in the water. <sighs> and it was too much bouncing around. And then this happened. I can't imagine what people go through on that biggest, well, is, do they still even have that show? The Biggest Loser. <clears throat> I, um, no more exercise for me, that's for sure, till my diet's more appropriate. And you can laugh and say that's not true. The most you should do at my size, I'd even, I mean, I'm not a professional, but I kind of am. In my opinion, I'd say if you're above 250, you should do nothing other than walk. Low intensity burns more fat anyways, that's, look it up. It's more sustainable, you don't blow out your adrenals, look it up. It keeps your metabolism healthy, but it's something that's sustainable. And even someone my size just walking a little bit extra, which I did on the beach, I used all these extra muscles. You know when you're on the sand, you're like Like I'm using back muscles to support my body. All of my muscles hurt. That's just walking sometimes. So, I should have, I was running and bouncing around. And it was just nice to be you know, in a new place, and it was like a little vacay for me, and I just, um, well, my body told me. My body told me. You're too fat, Nick. You're too fat, Nick Akato, to be doing any of this. You're just, you just are. You should be walking, and that's it. Or changing your diet a little bit more. And I don't know how, I've been asking for a sign for something to know what to do to lose weight and I just don't know what. And people have been begging me for a long time, you need to get your act together. I'm stuck. And you're talking to someone that came from a very interesting background. I'm not just your average Joe. I have been through so much more than 90% of the, I'd say 99% of the population. People don't even stay vegan for a week and they give up, I did it for half a decade. So I've been through a lot. I've, I'm very committed, but I, I'm broken. I don't know what to do. And I thought this, I actually thought, you know, it was a good day. Let's not have junk food for once. I've had something more wholesome. 
chicken and vegetables and rot like and no my heart pinches from doing <clears throat> this I used to be so attractive. I was really attractive. I had this beautiful slender body. I had a third leg, if you know what I mean. It was huge. Now it's covered up by marshmallow, which is fine. Some people like the fat pad, it turns them on. It's fine, I guess, but I can't even see it anymore. I like have to lift up my belly, like, is it in there? Oh. I mean, it's still pretty thick, but it's like, uh. That's downside of being fat. You lose your biddies. They get lost. You lose your privates. Lost and found. Where are they? They have not been found. I didn't have this double chin. I was hot, actually, if I can say so myself. And now I'm this big, fat blob. I had the cutest little butt. I, I went to the gym. I had a... Mm, I would have done me. Bet him over that bed. Mm. Is that narcissist to say? I don't know. <laughs> Am I a narcissist? Would you? I don't know. I feel like when you're proud of yourself and you work hard at your diet and your exercise, I think you're allowed to want to do yourself. I think so. I think you can have a pass. If you're putting in hours and hours and hours and hours a week while all these... Sorry, the camera died. I had to get up and put, the, put a new battery in. I'm kind of wrapping this up anyway. I just, you know, man, my life is not okay. It's just not. And um, it's crazy because like part of me is in denial. Part of me has a food addiction. Part of me thinks I'm really healthy. Part of me like... I just see images of my old self and I'm like, wow, wow. You would have bent that over, you know? And now, I mean, unless you like chunky butt, it, you can bend me over, I guess. But, um, and sometimes chunky butt's nice, but mine's not chunky, it's just flat. <laughs> and it's not even about looks, even though it kind of is, it's about how I feel. Like, I'm gasping for breath all the time. And yesterday, I was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. This is my last video on YouTube. And I, I literally said yesterday, I'm like, I'm done. I called it my last video on YouTube. My last mukbang. And then, you know, because I didn't think I was even going to film today. But again, it's like 10 o'clock. And I was starving. I was out all day since 6 in the morning. I didn't think I was going to post today. So... I need someone to like train me, I think. I think I need to find maybe a YouTuber. Hey, any YouTubers out there want to train a Kakado? It'd be good publicity for you. <laughs> Honestly, it would if you think about it. You know, I don't have to pay you for your your services. You know, you tell me what to eat, tell me what how to work. Don't, don't make me work out too much. I know more than you think. I'm not gonna blow my hamstrings and tear up my cartilage when I don't have to, when I'm in the 300s. Someone like me should be able to lose a pound a day, I've heard. That's what Dr. Now says. So who's who's willing who's willing to take on this big boy? Who's willing to? Uh, I need to find somebody. Maybe a YouTuber can like coach me and we can turn into a really cool thing. I don't know. Please email Victor, my manager, and say, hey, I saw Nick's video. I'll tell him. I don't know. Or maybe I could just, just reach out to people myself, although that's it should come from you. You should express the interest. I don't even know any YouTubers, honestly. I watch the same old people, which I'm fine with. Um, there's so many YouTubers and creators out there. TikTokers are huge now. I mean, there's probably so many. I, I watch the same couple people over and over. Oops, there's two. Um, Eric the Electric, I was just watching him. Um, Carly Steele, Hungry Fat Chick, it's, you know, it's the same old, which I've done for, I, I'm, I'm not good at finding new creators to watch. Um, actually, I used to say that to Carly all the time, like, I don't watch anybody. <laughs> I'm like, I, I don't. I don't know what's out there. <sighs> I can't believe this just happened. I mean, it's, it's already happened before, but it's just like... 
That's scary, you know? God, what do I miss more? Feeling good or looking good? Am I into twinks? I guess I am. I'm just like, oh, I was so skinny. I just want to like... <laughs> but I love... I love chubby guys, too. I actually like all types of people. So I'll just stop right there. I like it. I like so much. And who cares if you're attracted to someone or not? What matters is they don't F and die. Yeah, that would be a, that would be starters. <sighs> Thank you for watching this video. I'm going to sign off. It was, it was kind of crazy. I know. Signing off. Goodbye. <sighs> you go, you'll go to my YouTube shorts. You'll see my beach stuff tomorrow. Go to Nikocado Shorts. It's here on YouTube. You could go to TikTok too, but a lot, of, a lot of my viewers don't use TikTok. You know, I have a um, a page here on YouTube called Nikocado Shorts, and you, you guys can see what I'm talking about, what I did. Uh, look, I'm covered in sauce. Okay, everyone. Bye. Ooh, really too close for comfort. Ouch. I'm done. Hi, it's me. I'd like to thank all my patrons for supporting this video and an even bigger thank you to my executive producers, Jamie Baby Cotto, Princess Abby, and C. Butter. If you'd like to support my channel a little bit extra, or if you just want to see the real unfiltered side of these videos, click the link in the description box and consider joining all of us over on Patreon. You'll get to see weekly videos and a much more candid side of me. Oh, and by the way, you have to be a grown up to follow. Patreon's really for my closest followers only and new openings become available available on a first come first serve basis. So if you see an opening, hurry up. And if you want to hear from me personally, get yourself a video directly from me on Cameo, where I can surprise you with a video straight to your phone or your computer. You can also hire me to tell off your friend. If you want more, check out my merch store and get yourself a Waterweight t-shirt. Patreon, Cameo, and merch are all linked in the description box. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.